Hey guys, James here again. This me another One Piece What If. And I really like the plot of this What If, as I like the plots of What If, like, of like Luffy being older, as if I give him a double fruit, he'll have more experience with it, or, or just something else completely. So, uh, yeah. Now, this idea, I haven't really seen anyone else do it. If I have, then I forgot their username. Or try to watch the video, but I haven't seen it, seen it so far, or have no memory of seeing one. And disclaimer: I have stomachache today, so I might pause a lot for reasons. Now, um, this is what if this is what if Luffy was born the year Roger died. Now, in this one, it like well not in this part, not this what if. Dragon's age when Roger er, executed is around, is between like 30 and 35, between that. I didn't have time to like actually compare like Dragon's current age to the year Roger died. So, uh, yeah. Now, um, Luffy would be born, I would say like one month after Roger dies. One month after. So, uh, yeah. So, oh. Once Luffy is conceived on the, the village, he was like. So, once Luffy is conceived in like the Gwinmo Village, I believe it was, like Fusha Village. Just like, that's his, that's his town's name. Once Luffy is born there, he will end up being raised there. But Garp will raise him up until Luffy is around five. Once Luffy is five, Garp will give Luffy to the bandits, and Luffy will kind of take the place of Ace. And as Luffy is raised, raised by the bandits, Luffy will eventually pick up like like he wants to be a bandit for like a good majority of his life until he meets Ace. Ace's whole thing is he asks around, you know, should he like, like what if the King of Pirates has a son? What should happen to him? And everyone then says, you know, oh he should die, he should be murdered, he should be other things. Eventually, Luffy had caught like had caught Ace asking this, and he saw Ace wander to the edge of the cliff and sit and sit down. Luffy just sits with him and asks Ace, why do you keep asking that? Ace would actually tell Luffy, bro, I will tell you everything about me. Ace would give his whole life story to Luffy up until Ace recently would join the, not join the Bandits, but live with them. As I'd say Luffy is around six and um, Luffy, Luffy's around, Luffy would be like three years older than Ace. So I'm going to say Ace is around like seven, Luffy is, is around ten. So, yeah. So, Luffy will end up just kind of talking to Ace for a bit. Eventually, finds out Roger is Ace's dad. And instead of Garp giving a speech to Ace, saying, you know, it's kind of up to you to decide should you have been born. Like, 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 do you have a cause in life? That'll be Luffy giving him the speech. As Luffy has, he's been to where the nobles were. He's looted the, the main village. He, he ignores Fushu village. That's not, that's not where he belongs. And Luffy's strong, like, he, he can beat every other bandit, like, Dodon is his only, his only challenge. So, bandits, in fear of, in fear of waking Luffy's, la Luffy's, not laugh, wrath, they don't go near the village. Luffy, he has helped the bandits loot the capital, or loot the kingdom. So Luffy has seen how corrupt, just, just, just that, that town is. And Luffy, Luffy has seen, you know, there's some people are actually cool. Like they like they make their horrible idiotic families. He's turning like seem like good people. And Luffy, he's kind of giving like something similar to Ace, like you know, your dad might not have been the best, but you can be something better. You you can be you can be good and be better. You can be a, you can be a marine to make sure no one else like like him ar like arises. You can be a bandit so you don't follow his laugh his his line of work. Or you can be a pirate, and you can be better than he ever could be or hope to be. So, in total, it's up to you to decide, should you have been born, you make a destiny out of that. Ace would smile, hug Luffy, and Ace will take this lesson. And eventually, we're going to fast forward a few years. Ace stays with the bandits mainly, and Luffy is pretty good with a sword and a gun. And Luffy isn't, like, in Fusha Village, just chilling out. And there are some rogue bandits in the forest, like Higuma. As Higuma, like, well, like, 
I'm not saying this one like he was Donald's right hand man, but Luffy took that spot even though he's so young. But yeah. No. Um we're gonna go to like Luffy in the bar. Luffy's in the bar with Shanks. Shanks but Shanks and Luffy like Shanks is is just talking to Luffy a lot. And Luffy is just very smart compared to Bear's Canyon counterpart. As Luffy has stolen a lot of stuff. And he's like he's on a few books that are valuable and read them. So Luffy has decent intellect, or a little bit better than someone his age should. Like he's like he's like his he's like he's like a, he'd be like fifth or sixth grade. Like he's like he's like twelve or thirteen. I'd say so like twelve or thirteen. And then his intellect is like someone that's like seventeen. He's pretty smart. So yeah. Now, after a bit, Shanks will ask Luffy his name. Like, you know, hey, what's your name, kid? And Luffy then says, my name, my name is Monkey D. Luffy. How about you? And Shanks would say, oh, you have the will of D. Lee looks, looks, at, looks at Shanks saying, will of D? Where have I heard that before? Shanks like, eh, don't mind it. But come with me real quick. Luffy would go with Shanks as they go outside the bar. Not really too far. Shanks would whisper in Luffy's ear, my name is Portis D. Shanks. Yes, I'm involving that theory into this one. Is like, I, I kind of like it. And once Luffy hears Port this D, he doesn't need to hear the rest. He already knows what he needs to do. But Luffy doesn't just want to do it just yet. But him and Shanks are back in the bar. They start drinking and everything. And then Higuma and his goons will break into not break in, but like, go into the bar. And Maki Nolan says, says, Luffy drank all the non-alcoholic beverages. Shanks and his crew drank all the alcoholic ones. Higuma is about to just like Try to, try to fight Shanks, but he, he didn't really pay attention when Makino said Luffy. As soon as he tries to like break a bottle on, on like, the table or at least smash it, it Luffy would stop the bottle from being broken as he kind of kicks it back in the air and catches it. Luffy says, wait, who the hell? And he looks Luffy dead in the eye. He instantly starts panicking as he's like, I'm so sorry. Luffy stands up and looks at like Higuma. There's a pretty no noticeable height difference. But, Higuma was beaten by Luffy a number of times. Higuma's men know this. Higuma pulls out a blade and a pistol and points them at Luffy, saying, saying, you, you can't you can possibly do anything against this, as Higuma is obviously shaking. Suddenly, Luffy will draw his sword and slash at Higuma's arm. And Shanks will stop Luffy's hand, very, like, he will stop the blade very short of Higuma's arm. As, this is Shanks and says, Luffy, the guy's scared out of his mind. Don't, 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 uh, don't dismember him. Luffy will laugh, saying, I wasn't planning to. I wasn't scared enough to drop his gun. This points to Higuma's gun. That's on the floor now. Higuma had panicked. Higuma's men's like, he, like, he wasn't actually scared of him. Higuma then says, I'm not scared, you idiot. He has to slash at Luffy. Luffy would, drag, would grab Higuma's arm and throw him right out of the bar. Shanks then just sees how strong Luffy is for, for like, a 12-year-old. Luffy would actually like take take like the sheath from like the like, like not the holster but or the thing holding is holding the hilt the hilt the sheath and the blade of a sword. Luffy would put the blade in there but take the sheath. He then says this should this should be enough. As he beats down Higma's men with just the sheath, they can they can shoot bullets. Luffy will dodge. They can, they can slash at Luffy. He easily jumps away. Luffy is very hard for them to touch. Eventually, the last one, Luffy just slams the sheath right on the guy's head and right into the ground. Then Luffy will, will sheath his sword, saying, Alright, that's pretty easy. He will run at Luffy until Luffy kicks him right into the water. And Luffy had some intent on where he's kicking Higuma. Suddenly, the giant sea king would shoot out of the water and eat Higuma. And Shanks knew what Luffy was doing. Shanks said, Oh, damn. See, this game be okay. Luffy then said, oh, um, we'll, 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 his corpse will be out the other end in a few days. Hanks kind of chuckle, can't help him but laugh, as Luffy says, oh yeah, follow me. As Shanks' crew will follow Shanks, and Shanks will pay, will pay for, like, the drinks and stuff. As, as Lucky Roo ends up taking the fruit and drops it on, like, while he's running. Like, I'm saying he had a lot of stuff in his hands, and didn't realize he dropped something. And Luffy is cleaning up, cleaning up all, all of Higma's men's weapons, like dumping them in the water. Like he doesn't, he doesn't drop the drop, drop the blades as those will rust, and I don't think rust is good for water. So Luffy will take the swords 
but he totally dumps the guns in the water as they're not really valuable and some of them aren't even actual guns they're not even they don't even have actual metal on them they're just like for threats and they don't actually shoot bullets but luffy takes all the swords and runs as he sees the dull fruit who fell in the box but luffy just picks it up saying eh, it's just a fruit puts in his mouth and bites down he says oh this tastes horrible he starts running with shanks so suddenly he trips but this is upper half of the body shoots forward as it goes right, th right above the whole crew and lands in front of Shanks. And he's confused as he looks behind him, see that Luffy's body stretched a lot. It's like, Lucky Roo, where's the fruit? Lucky Roo says, Oh, it's right, he Lucky Roo then says, Luffy, did a fruit fall on the ground and you and you did you eat it? Luffy then says, Yeah. Thanks for rolling towards Luffy is like 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 where his body connects to his lower like where his upper body connects to the lower body. And so that, and Shanks says, well, yo, you idiot, as he tackles Luffy, and just like, and like, Shanks, not Shanks, sh like, shakes his waist, saying, you idiot, you know what you just did? Luffy will shoot his body back to normal, saying, I don't know, and I don't really want to right now. And he says, too bad, you're in no right now, you ate a devil fruit. Luffy says, wait, those actually exist? Shanks will facepalm, saying, yes, they do. Luffy will, Luffy will laugh, saying, well, at least at least I have powers now. Shankson says, you didn't need power, you're already strong. Luffy then says, I, I guess so. As Luffy will eventually end up getting to um, the bandit's hideout with Shanks and his crew. But I don't question, you know, oh, Shank, Luffy, why are you here? And who's the is behind you? Luffy says, never mind that, where's Ace? Ace will run out of the house with and we'll kind of out of the, the cabin with like, holding a sword saying a wooden sword obviously saying Luffy spar with me Luffy will flick Ace in the head saying eh shut up I have something to tell you Luffy then says it's Shanks Ace with me as they run in the forest somewhere far away from the crew and the bandits like oh not far away but out of earshot and Luffy then says Shanks tell Ace your name Shanks says oh um well I guess my name's well, my name, I don't know what's, what's important, but I guess it's D, D Shanks. Shank, Ace's jaw will drop, saying, My name is Port Gis D Ace. Shank's jaw, jaw also drop, saying, uh, Is your mother Port Gis D Rouge would have an unknown sibling? Ace says, Port Gis D Rouge is my mom. Ace says, Don't tell me. Ace says, And my dad's Gold D Roger. Shanks will pick up Ace saying, I saying, I guessed that and I knew it. Why didn't he tell me he had a kid? Luffy actually will start thinking of like the year Ace was conceived compared to the year Roger died. Luffy says, Oh, Ace, Ace, had, a, Ace had a strong mom. As Luffy's like, from what I can guess, his mom held him in for like for like 19 months, one month off is Luffy. And he's like, oh, well my sister has always been strong. And Jensen says, well, I was on your captain's crew, not your captain, I was on your dad's crew. Ace then says, was my, my dad, my dad must have sucked, didn't he? Shanks then says, I should know probably, probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. So it took me in, and I had nothing to do, and nothing to live for. He did that with a lot of people. Ace like, wait, really? He was actually a good person? But you're like a pirate, king of the pirate, like, huh? Then Luffy actually laughs, saying, Ace, did you actually not know there's decent there's decent pirates? Ace says, well, no, not, not really. Like, all I've been exposed to are Blue Jam and his, and his henchmen. Luffy says, says, when did you meet Blue Jam? I, I've, never, I've never brought you near him. Ace says, oh, um, my last night, me and Sabo snuck out to go fight some animals. Luffy will face one, saying, did he see you? Ace says, no. Luffy will laugh saying, good, but uh, Shanks, you can, you can back to your crew, and, and Ace, go back to the bandits, I'm gonna go find Sabo, and make sure the Blue Jam Pirates didn't, didn't see him at least, cause, uh, yeah, Luffy runs through the forest, looking for Sabo, Sabo kind of like lives in like a small treehouse, eventually Luffy ends up jumping under the roof of Sabo's treehouse and knocks on the, uh, knocks on the roof, Sabo peeks out like through a very, a very, very poorly made window, and he says, Give on the other roof, you'll fall through. Luffy says, 
I don't I don't weigh that much. As long as his head will droop down to the ground. Sabo, please pull my neck. Sabo will grab Luffy's neck, confused, and just kind of like pull him down until Luffy just pulls pulls himself in through the window and pulls his head back onto his body straight. Sabo then says, how could you do that? Luffy will smack Sabo in the mouth, saying, watch it. Sabo will hold his mouth, saying, I'm sorry. As, as Luffy will talk to Sabo about Blue Jam, and Sabo then says, I don't think they saw me, but a few of them were wandering near here today. And suddenly they hear Blue Jam's crew is talking. Luffy says, oh, they might have saw you. As Luffy will listen closer to the conversation, and his hearing is very good. And he like like Blue Jam didn't see a sub of this. They thought they heard some big animals nearby. Eventually, Luffy jumps down like he comes out of the window, then jumps from the tree. As he lands, Blue Jam's crew like Blue Jam is not with them, not another poor Chemi, but like the lower ranking ones, they, they see it's Luffy, and they instantly start to start, 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 start retreat, not wanting to mess with him. And Luffy kind of chase, chase, chase him back to the gray terminal. As Luffy doesn't really go in there unless he has the whole bandit crew with him. Not, not, not because he's scared, but only because he doesn't want to get jumped. Like, he's like, oh, I, I definitely will get jumped. I can handle all of it, but I will come out there with a few bruises, scratches, and and maybe a few broken bones. But I don't want to risk that, even though I don't, I don't really care. Because he's in like he's like the main source of money for the band, as he's the fastest, the fastest, the strongest. Daron has like a slight physical advantage on him, with like because she has some better skill in terms of some weapons. But Daron has skill on Luffy. That's really it. But uh, yeah. No. Um. After that, after that, like, like Luffy, Luffy chases him, chases them off. Sabo will come. We'll go with Luffy back to like the bandit's hideout. And Shanks, Shanks crew is about to leave, but I just, like Shanks didn't want to say goodbye to Luffy first. Well, not first, but yet. So Shanks left. Like he stayed there. He stayed behind as the crew set sail a bit. You guys have noticed Shanks didn't lose his arm. He keeps it. But since Shanks didn't lose his arm, and his crews are kind of selling off right now. Shanks will actually wait. Will be waiting there with the hat at his chest. And Luffy looks at him saying, um, "You okay, Shanks?" Shanks will put the hat on Luffy's head saying. This was Roger's, and then it was mine, and now it's yours. If I don't die by the time you become a strong pirate, give it back to me. Or give it give it to someone else. But the way my the way my, my captain is gone, or the at least the way that I think I may go, or the way I think my life may go, I'll probably die right as you right as you try to give it back. Hanks walks. Shanks runs off toward his, toward his crew, getting all those weapons, and eventually Shanks ends up just jumping right off the dock towards his ship, and he holds onto the edge of it. So yeah. No. Um. What was it? No. Well, once like once like once that happens, when fast forward a few months, Garp comes back and uh, Garp is aware that Luffy's a bandit. He's aware of it. He doesn't know Luffy. Luffy's just kind of doing it as he has nothing else to do do in life. Like, you know, Ace, Ace, Ace is a bandit. Is kind of well, not a bandit, but it's trained by Luffy. And Sabo's also being trained by Luffy, as Luffy's pretty good with the sword. And Sabo and Ace prefer pipes, so Luffy just kind of just fights them. Like they they use wooden swords and substitute of pipes. So Luffy doesn't chop their swords and not their, not their swords, their pipes in half or dent them. If they use pipes and he used the wooden sword, so Luffy, so Ace and Sabo are pretty strong. But one day when Garp comes over to see them, he sees yes, Luffy, you know, eh, would you get the straw hat? And Luffy is not really scared of Garp. He's only scared of if he gets Garp angry and doesn't think this will get Garp angry. So he says, oh, um, a pirate came by and gave me this. Garp says, oh, for how much? Did you get scammed? He says, oh, it was free. Garp says, oh, I see. He then moves the hat closer and says, don't tell me he came here. And says, who's he? Garp will grab Luffy by the shoulder and shake him, saying, Don't, sing, sing, don't, don't you play dumb. You know who I'm talking about, red-haired shanks. And eventually, Luffy kind of gets Garp's arms off of him, saying, So what if he came here? Garp will punch Luffy in the jaw, saying, 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 saying Why are you talking to like that? 
Goofy even says, I made him mad. And Gar Garfield playing at Ace and Cyborg saying, why don't you stop him from talking to them? And he points out the bandits as well. Goofy looks at all of them saying, um, really long, long game of, really long game of tag. Everyone shakes, shakes their head, like, like, like saying yes, and they all just scatter. And Garp chases after Luffy. <laughs> Luffy's followed by Ace and Sabo and some of the bandits. While Garp chases just that group. Luffy eventually hides. He hides hiding in a tree. He, and right, it's like, why is Luffy's hiding? Garp will punch the tree saying, you can't escape me, Luffy. Luffy then says, oh, I'm going to hate this. As the tree will fall over, Luffy will kind of kick, like, kick the tree towards Garp. And Luffy will send flying back, and eventually lands right in a cave. The cave of that giant tiger. Where the king of the forest. The tiger will try to slash Luffy, thinking he's a new male, but Luffy will hold his arm up, but, but just barely. Luffy will grip it firmly and swing it around, and then throw it out of the cave. So, yeah. The tiger is beaten, or the king of the forest. So, it's, like, it's not beaten, but, or, like, it's not dead, but it was just, it was knocked out. And Garp saw a giant tiger be thrown, so he knows, he knows who did that. But after a few days, Garp will give up, as he had punched Luffy a good few times. And Luffy is just lying in front of the door of the cabin, tired, worn out, done. Excuse me. Okay. I was gone for like, like, like 30 minutes. <laughs> I forgot where I left off. Um, I think it was... Yeah. Luffy ends up being tied up by Garp. And Garp will eventually leave after a bit. Now. I'm going to fast forward a bit, like a year. So. So, let's just say... The, uh, I'd say Garp had kind of shut down any entry to the island, because due to, due to the redhead pirates being near the island, and he was kind of nervous since Luffy was pretty young and strong for being so young, like, stronger than most marines up to, like, the captain rank. Like, like, captain and above, like, the best chance, ha had the best chance in the marines of beating Luffy. But, uh, screw that now, we need to go over when Luffy is around, I'm gonna say he's, he's like, I'm gonna say he's 13, he's 13 by the end of the year, and eventually Ace is, you know, yeah, I messed up Luffy and, Luffy and, um, Ace's ages, Ace would be one year younger than Luffy, Ace is going to be, he 12, Isabel's going to be 12, Luffy's going to be 13. I messed up their ages early in the video. So, yeah. Now, um, once, like, the, once the, once the Celestial Dragon is actually on their way, Isabel still tries to set sail. Isabel's parents don't, don't try to go for Luffy. The bandits are incredibly strong. Everyone knows that. The Blue Jam Pirates don't even want to, want to get paid to attack the bandits because they're in fear of Luffy. Dot Arn is a little stronger, so she would actually beat the crap out of Blue Jam. Luffy would beat the crap out of Blue Jam. And, yeah, the Bandits would beat the crap out of, rest of, out of the rest of Blue Jam's crew. And Sabo and Ace individually can beat the crap out of, out of Port Chemi. So, yeah. Now, um, once all the guards try to go after... Well, they actually don't try, I just said that. But, um... Sabo will still try to set sail, knowing his dad's going to try to come for them. And when they do try, they, like, Sabo, well, when Sabo does try to set sail, he wants to be shot by the Celestial Dragon. I mean, Luffy is running around looking for Sabo. Sabo who went missing in the middle of the night. And Luffy had found, Sabo, I found a note from Sabo saying, Oh, this and that, I will be leaving. And as Luffy is running, he eventually jumps forward, seeing the, as he saw the boat jump forward off the island, sees the boat. The bandit that saw, saw Sabo die in canon is watching this still. He's like, Luffy's going to be devastated. Until he hears a loud yell as Luffy as he yells, Sabo, don't go! Luffy sees a special dragon already shoots Sabo. And Luffy 
gets close enough for using his sword. It's not anything special, it's just he's supposed by, by like a special or strong person. And you see people eventually get close to the um like the gun and once the side dragon shoots it, the bow is still shattered but not it doesn't blow up. The bandit, Savo, and the Flesh of Dragon are both confused. They look down where the boat was like crashed, and they see Luffy, he like just in like lower deck of the ship, holding the cannonball very close to his chest. So Luffy's hands are very badly burnt and bleeding, and his chest is very badly burnt as well. That would add on to like some of the X on his chest, so you can tell where I'm going with this. Luffy's chest, uh, like the X, will like, be kind of convenient, not actually just a kind of doing it. So. It makes it mainly is like a collection of scars that eventually lead up to lead up to an X, and the scars kind of look like burns, or they're caused by very hot things. Eventually, Luffy is able to pick up the cannon, and the little dragon looks at Luffy like a monster. Luffy will crush the cannonball, and he says, "Don't try it again." The little dragon is actually intimidated as a large burst emits from Luffy, as everything seemingly stops. Luffy doesn't notice this. This but such a dragon is almost forced to his knee. Well, is forced to his knees and almost passes out. His guards are pa are passing out, and the crowd's passing out. The bandit and Sabo aren't passed out though. The will climb back back to the top, pick up Sabo, and swim back to the shore, but he is very badly hurt. Well, his burns are very bad. His body is okay, but the burns hurt a lot. Eventually, Sabo feels very bad about what he just tried to do. And Sabo's dad had to watch Luffy just sacrifice his life to make sure Celestial Dragon didn't kill Sabo. Sabo's parents can kind of confirm. Sabo has a better family than he did with them. They can admit that. So, uh, yeah. Now, let me fast forward to, to like, the year before Ace and Sabo turned 17. year before that, Luffy turned 17. And he will set sail. But he goes on his own. He doesn't really want a crew yet. He wants to explore some of the East Blue for himself. And yes, I said that himself. So eventually, this will lead to him kind of like. Well, not kind of. Eventually, leads to him kind of going to his friends' villages. Well, not, I don't want to keep saying kind. It will lead to him exploring his friends' villages by himself. But he won't come from them for come for them just yet. But first, we we'll go to like. Oh, like a week into Luffy's voyage. A week into it, he starts the Gungan fruit, and he trains with it a lot. Like that jump that he made to go get Sabo, Luffy had used his, his double fruit, and yeah, like he jumped using his double fruit. Luffy had also had protected a lot of things. Like his like, hands were burnt, like rubber, like even burnt rubber, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, screw that. Now. We're going to go to Luffy's first stop, which is very close to our village. Well, not very close, but a few miles, like a few hundred miles away. Luffy had come across a battle, like that's like currently happening, and Kuro's crew sees this. If you guess you heard me correctly, Kuro's, and the Marines also see this tiny dinghy sailing about. Marines think think Kuro called backup, and Kuro thinks the Marines called backup. So each crew shoots at Luffy. And Luffy was wearing what you see in his picture. Actually, I'm going to use this picture. Luffy, look, Luffy looks like this, minus the scar and the chair. But um, this art was made by Darko Goku on DeviantArt, so I'll give, I'll give you that one. So, yeah. Now, after that, Luffy, like, he's dodging all the attacks. Also, Luffy does have a sword still. He's slashing apart the attacks. Like the bullets, the cannonballs, some actual some lives are thrown at him. He eventually just says, "Why is everyone attacking me?" The Marines yell, "You're a pirate!" Then Curl's crew yell, "You're a Marine!" And now everyone's confused. Like, like is Luffy a warlord because he's a Marine and a pirate, or like like that's just how like that's how Curl's crew thinking. Because he's a Marine, is he like is he a warlord because he's a Marine and a pirate, or? Is he just... Are they both confused? Luffy says, Oh, I see. Luffy will jump aboard and slash apart a lot of the marines, and slash apart a lot of Kuro's crew, and beating them up with his own bare hands. And Luffy will beat the crap out of Morgan and Kuro himself, but Kuro does get a few lucky, lucky scratches in. 
And like I said, he had the burn mark on his chest. Like, it was like at the center of his chest where the, the X would start. This is a burn center of that from the cannonball. Crow got one slash on him, and that would lead to one of the lines on the X. Crow is moving so fast, plus there's a lot of flames around. Crow kind of heated up his knife or his claw. So that would lead to it looking like, like a burn. Uh, yeah. Now, if you actually got that, got that slash, we will grab, we'll grab Curl's arm and grab Curl's like, his shirt and kind of pull on, on the arm, but push on his chest. Curl's like, what are you doing? Eventually, Curl feels his skin kind of just, he feels a lot of pain on his skin. Eventually, that is what Luffy's doing as he tries to get away from Luffy. But they won't allow it as Kuro eventually gets his arm ripped off by Luffy. Luffy then says, this glove is kind of annoying. And Luffy was removing the arm that Kuro was using. Morgan was yelling a lot. So Luffy would kind of use the arm that he took from Kuro and kind of stab Morgan through the jaw with two of the nails. Or the claws, I don't, I don't care what you say. But those are stabbed through Morgan's mouth and eventually will damage his jaw so severely he still needs a metal one but Morgan's tongue is kind of cut off in the process and he will not be able to speak properly so Kuro oh, is missing an arm Morgan is done for so Kuro actually retreats with his crew he doesn't want to try anything else and Morgan also retreats saying someone else intervened and due to Morgan surviving such an attack they think he's strong enough to actually take they thought he was super strong and he still promoted the captain so, yeah. But he started the attacker, and Garp is like, 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 he heard about it in, tri- in the, the description of the attacker. Knowing how strong Luffy is, but he doesn't know Luffy didn't try to start anything. He thought, he thought, he thought Luffy was just sailing by, which, is, which he was correct about. But at least so Luffy getting a bounty of around 4 million. As they're like, oh, it can't be too strong. He intervened on two tired people that were, that were extremely strong. Well, not extremely, like, he he's, he came across them up while they were tired. That's why he that's why he got that's why he got so many attacks in on them. No, in reality, the same thing would have happened no matter what. It'd been the same outcome, um, same same situation, same time. And as I hear me correctly, still Kuro did retreat. Luffy has a bounty of a few million. Kuro will not be going to serve village. He will be trying to flee anywhere near Luffy, like opposite that direction. So yeah. Now, um, Luffy continues sailing, and eventually, he will come across a island named Kokuyashi Village. While he's there, a boat, like, like, Luffy took a lot of the stuff from Kuro's crew and the Marines. But, like, they didn't really notice the whole time, but still a lot of it was taken. It was just enough food and water to last Luffy a few... What else Luffy eats, plus him being a lot bigger than he... Was it can do to him working out a lot more to because he trained with Sabo and Ace a lot more. Luffy has enough food to last him around four days. In those four days, now he sees the giant bag of food and a lot of loss of water. Yes, Luffy, she, if she can spare some food or come or if she can come aboard, Luffy says, Oh, this is only enough for him for four days. He realizes that Luffy must be one of those people with a huge appetite. Now, Nami has an idea if she brings Luffy to Kokashi Village to be eaten by some of the fishermen, which she thinks they eat humans. I don't put it behind, I don't eat someone, actually. But, um, she still asks Luffy to come with her, because she has a village where there's a lot of food. Luffy will agree, as he sails with Nami, like, like, she's not on the ship, but she's, like, sailing towards the direction of Kokuyashi Village, and Luffy will follow. Or the giant sea cow will try to, like, eat Luffy, or eat, or eat Luffy, but Nami's, in, but during Nami, no one gets close enough, Luffy will jump and punch it right in the head, sending it flying back down in the water. And I mean, it's all that, she's like, oh. As you know, she kind of just brought a beast to Arlong. So she says, Arlong, I brought you guys food. She went to the Luffy, busts his bag of food, and then she went to the water. Arlong says, uh, Nami. One, we don't eat humans. Two, thank you. And three, even more thank you for the water. He points Luffy's sword, saying, Brat, throw it up here. I want it. He says, eh, no can do. He's back in his boat, as she kicks Nami's, and a giant hole's put in it. As she kind of sinks, as she panics, as she swims, swims back to land, Hachi will pick her up, but the straw, like, not the straw hats. The, 
the fish, the Arlong, the Arlong pirates, all run at Luffy, and as soon as Luffy like, like, climbs up, uh, climbs up board, all the strats, not all the strats, all, all, all the Arlong pirates will, will run at Luffy. And as they run at Luffy, Luffy will quickly take them all down. Like oh, like one, like the one that knows fish and karate will run at Luffy, and Luffy just kind of like he, he, as soon as that one goes for a punch. He will punch his fist, and that guy's arm quickly breaks. He goes for another punch, and Luffy will cut that arm off. That's repeatedly how it goes. Like Luffy, like they'll go for a punch or a kick. Luffy will, Luffy will make that punch or kick with greater strength, then cut their other arm off or other leg off. Eventually, one of them will try to use guns, and Luffy then says, "Oh, you guys want to go there too?" Luffy will grab the gun and be an expert, expert, expert marksman with it. Alan's like, "Is there anything he can't do?" Hachi will run at Luffy using six swords. And Luffy just uppercuts Hachi so hard, Hachi passes out. He says, I don't really have an interest in you. You seem nice. Luffy looks at Arlong, saying, Now you. And Luffy is not, not, not really using his devil fruit. He has other skills he doesn't need to rely on. His devil fruit is like his last resort. And Luffy will go for a slash. As Arlong will use, like, he'll take his teeth out and try to bite down the blade. As soon as, like, the teeth catch the blade, but they don't, they can't break it. Arlong tries and it's not working. But he's able to hold the blade off, and Luffy is out of bullets. He didn't bring any of his own. But eventually, Luffy then says, uh, I see. Luffy will kick Arlong in the air, as Luffy then says, hmm, how about this? I need name, 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 give me a second. Okay, so, I found a, I found a name for the technique. So, Gatling guns are stronger than miniguns, I'd say. As miniguns shoot faster, but don't have as strong bullets. That's what I think. A Gatling gun shoots slower, but has stronger bullets. So, Gatling gun would essentially be, uh, like, Luffy's strongest technique in canon. But Luffy would use Gum 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 Minigun. And that's a weaker version of Gum Gum Gatling. And Luffy would use that on Arlong in case he gets back up, seeing that Arlong's spacemen have been pretty durable. But Arlong, he thinks Arlong's like the boss, so... Arlong um, would be more durable. In reality, he just has more tick techniques up his sleeve. But Luffy doesn't know that, so he will use Gum Gum Mini Gun. Eventually, once he punches Arlong, Luffy can't really slow it down yet, so he lets the technique finish. Arlong falls to the ground, bleeding from almost every part of his body. And Luffy. So. Um, Luffy is 17, I'm pretty sure. And then. In canon, Nami is one year older. But Luffy was born years earlier. Check. Sorry, I have to pause again. Alright, so, turns out I did mess up the ages, I messed them up twice. Luffy would be four years older than Ace. I forgot how, I felt like the actual number of how long 20 months actually is. I'm dumb. So, Luffy was born the year Roger died. Ace was born a few years after that, since Rouge, hold, Rouge held him in so long. So, uh... Luffy would have been basically once Ace once Ace would die, Luffy would be around twenty four. Ace was twenty at, the, at his at his death. I'm pretty sure, like pretty sure Ace was twenty. Not I mean, this one would be eleven. Bellamir died one year ago. Along took over K Kokikashi Village one year ago. So, at this point, Nami is eleven. So Luffy can't really have a reason to kill her. We did free the village a lot earlier. So Along Along didn't have a quick have a quick rule in East Blue. And to kind of fix up what I did wrong for the, um, for Kuro and Morgan, let's just say that that Kuro's crew was just kind of just let's just say Luffy did it did it separately, or let's actually screw it. They fought earlier, and Luffy settled settled that a lot earlier. And Luffy left at seventeen, which would leave Ace and Sabo thirteen. Sorry about that. So, Ace and Sabo are 13. Ace and Sabo are 13. Luffy 17. Alright, it's settled now. So, Nami is freed. And Luffy, like, she actually asked Luffy to, like, can he, can he take her with her? Luffy would, Luffy would say no. As, like, Arlong, like, the village had heard the, the, like, the fight going on toward Arlong Park. And they kind of worried for Nami. So, they all rush in, thinking she's okay. But she, they see that Arlong's on the ground bloodied, beaten, and broken. So is his crew. But Nami's completely unharmed. Luffy points to the village, saying, go with them. 
and you still have the same same like the same like 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 thought process for the same thought process. I will come for you. And then pat Simon Nami in the head. Also wanting to give her the straw hat, but he knows he needs to keep it to become a stronger pirate. So Nami would run towards the villagers, and Luffy actually talk like he sees the doctor in there. He actually tells the doctor. Like, get that thing off her arm, or or her skin will be ruined as she gets older. Doctor agrees, as Luffy will kind of go through some of Nami's things in, like, in an Arlong Park. He throws her, her, uh, her, like, he takes out a giant stack, stack of maps, goes to the villagers, take this in the village, and he gives Nami a staff. He says, practice with that. If you're strong enough, then I'll definitely take you, take you with me. Luffy gets on the boat, on, on the boat again. This time it's a bigger one, it's Arlong's boat. And he takes all their food. All their water or half of it took half their food half their water half their money but nami will give luffy all the money she stole and i don't think it's that much i'd say like 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 a, like a million at most so i'm saying, I'm saying nami gives luffy like eight hundred thousand berries and we'll take this as he sets sail again officially and luffy looks like i'm thinking back towards how he talked to shanks and his crew and he says hmm how about I go, I, I, I go there, like he thinks back to like Yasop, talking about Usopp. Ooh, another thing I have to talk about, we were thinking about. Alright, yeah, Usopp, Usopp was seven, he's, Usopp was seven, so, so he's like, he's like, he's like ten right now. So Luffy ends up sailing towards, towards, um, Syrup Village. And he gets off the boat, and he does not have a pirate flag. He took he took down Arlong, Arlong's flag, took down everything Arlong stood for on the ship. Even he even re repainted it before he set sail. And he is pulled pulled by the sea bull. The sea bull respects Luffy so much. <laughs> Luffy has a sea bull as a pet now. By the time he docks, Usopp doesn't have like the Usopp pirates, but he did like yell at those pirates are here, and he didn't do it enough for them to believe him. Not to not believe into them, for them to not believe him. So they all run out to the, to the shore, and they see an actual pirate ship. But they don't want to attack it due to the giant sea cow thing. Luffy will jump down saying, Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not, here, I'm not here for a fight. Just here to buy some food. Because he did eat a lot of his food. Like, oh, actually just here to be a decent human. Well, Luffy goes back, like, like he climbs back, jump climbs up to and walks towards the village. They show him where to get, or get some good food, as he seems pretty nice. And Usopp runs towards Luffy, saying, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! What? what um, do you do you know uh, anyone named Biasop?" And says, "Oh yeah. Do you have do you have, do you, have, do you happen to be Usopp?" And or the pet, like every villager is like, "Why do you why do you need to know?" He says, "Oh, I'm kind of kind of I'm kind of friends with his dad." Everyone's like, "Wait, you actually heard from that deadbeat?" So something says, yes, that's me, that's me, that's me. Luffy picks up Usopp, puts him on his back, saying, Alright, well, here's the thing. There's one thing your dad wanted, wanted me to tell you. The sea called him. That's why he didn't come back. And I did I did tell you here about your mom. But, don't worry. I can probably feel, feel a void as a, as a parent figure to you. As Luffy has plenty of experience... As he basically raised Sabo and Ace, like he made sure they ate properly. They knew they know how to defend themselves. They know how to, how to talk to their elders. Like he, like we taught Ace Sabo proper everything. So yeah, but um, eventually, like Luffy will eat enough. Enough gigging, he gets enough food. The villagers actually give Luffy enough money for actually volunteering to be nice to Usopp. Wait, I'm plugging my phone real quick. Right here. There you go. Now, um, once all that is settled, well, Usopp actually asked Luffy to take him with, like, to take Usopp with him. Luffy is hesitant. As if he asks, Usopp, what can you do? Usopp will pull out a slingshot and he's pretty good he's pretty good with it and Luffy then says mm. I'll stay here for a bit Luffy will walk towards the boat and tell the sea cow circle around the island make sure there's no pirates incoming and Luffy for some reason understands what the sea cow is saying he doesn't know he doesn't understand it himself 
and neither neither do the villagers. Luffy understands it. And Luffy stays on the island for around a year. And this is just teaching Usopp how to fight properly. Like he teaches him to punch, kick, throw knives, use a sword, use guns. Usopp is a jack of all trades at this point. And Usopp built like a small version of the Kabuto for himself. And Usopp is isn't still not old enough as Usopp would be around like eight. Luffy says, eh, turn eleven and I'll come for you. And I'd say like the Actually, I'm gonna go real quick, sorry. Okay, I'm back. Alright, uh where was I? Where was I? Luffy had taught Usopp how to use guns, blades, and everything. Alright, so let's leave off with Luffy setting sail again and Usopp hoping he can be old enough when Luffy returns. Or hoping Luffy doesn't forget when Usopp's old enough and he returns later. But Usopp's like eight by now. Because Luffy stayed there for a year. So, yeah. Luffy sets that sail again, and he knows his swordsmanship isn't as good as it could be. But Arlong also did a little bit of a number on his sword. Usopp's island isn't really one meant for battle. So, he decides, you know, there's, there's an island in, there's an island near here. Well, not near Sir Village, but in the East Blue. Then, that part, that's mainly for swordsmanship. And I don't doubt they sell swords. So, he'll stop there. So, Usopp will stop at the island. Not Usopp. Luffy will stop at the island there. And he goes there. So... As Luffy is going there, once he gets there, the villagers will report to the master or sensei of the dojo that a pirate has gone to the island. Or is going to the island. And Luffy is still mainly pulled by the giant sea bull thing. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to have to pause again. No one just called me. Alright. So. Zoro would be around, I want to say, he's like 13 by now, so is, so is Sanji, but uh, yeah, besides that, so the master of Shimotsuki village would come down, not the master of Shimotsuki village, master of Zoro would come down, and, um, um, I don't think that, I don't think Zoro was older than Kuina, I think he's well, I think they're at the same age. But Zoro, but Kuna's death passed. We know that by now. So, eventually, you, when Zoro's master would come down, come down with Zoro beside him. Zoro getting ready to fight, so is everyone else. Luffy would put his hands up saying he's not, he's not here for a fight. He's just here to, to just buy a sword. That's really it. They ask him, what's wrong with the sword in the sheath? He pulls it out to like, show there's a few holes in it. As Arlong Seath did. Like they didn't break it, but they they were close to making multiple puncture holes in it. Master then says, "I didn't think. I didn't think that like, well, I, well, I don't think I didn't think you care about your sword enough. That's what, that's what, kind of what Master said. And eventually, he would actually ask Luffy, "How long did he have the sword?" Meaning Luffy only had it for like a few months or at least a year at most. Luffy then says, "Well, he's had it since he was like ten. And Master's like, "Oh, you've had it for a while." Did you, did you name it? Luffy then says, uh, no, the bandits didn't, didn't really tell me to name it. And Nasa didn't see who Luffy is. Luffy kind of was kind of like, Luffy was like a small time guy, but he wanted to go bigger. And that's kind of the whole thing. Luffy wanted him to be bigger. That's really it. No, not, not the pirates, but we're a great pirate nonetheless. He wanted to be bigger than a bandit. So, yeah. No. Eventually, Luffy would end up, like, being able to, to come, come onto the land, like, he would have, he could have forced his way like, onto the land, and, but he didn't really want to harm anyone. So, yeah. Now, after that, like, whole exchange, after that whole exchange, Luffy would, would cope and go to the dojo, and that's what I asked Luffy, you know, what does he want? Zoro also ready to fight Luffy at any time. Luffy took off his straw hat, tapped his sword in the ground, put his hat on the sword, and he take he take the coat off the overcoat, and pull his sword out, saying, "You're like a train here. He's an average sword swordsman at best." Or that's Luffy's opinion. 
Master believes this, so does Zoro. But eventually, all the children, like, like, they, like, gives Luffy a wooden sword, and Luffy would fight with the children and beat the crap out of every single one of them. And, nonetheless, with one strike. Eventually, it's Luffy versus Zoro. Zoro uses three sword style against Luffy as he runs at Luffy. Zoro's only, only used three sword style for around a year or two by now. But, once Zoro tries to do it, Luffy would kind of like hit his blade, fit through Zoro's wooden swords, and smack Zoro into a wall. The master already knows. Luffy's only been using one strike. If you want to imagine how strong Luffy is, if he uses at least two. Master well, would use would use an actual like like blade against Luffy. Luffy doesn't, doesn't think it's fair, but he'll allow it. So he will hold around Luffy. As Luffy just like the master will use two swords, and he'll use one sword, and Luffy will just use just one wooden sword. And Luffy's cheers feels physical strength is able to overpower the master, smacking the actual sword away. The master quickly sees Luffy isn't like a on like not he's not honorable or not honorable but admirable. Luffy is really strong at some some technique. He's fast. He's like he's everything a swordsman should be in the master's eyes. Eventually, Luffy will smack the blade out of the master's hand and put the wooden sword up to, up to the master's neck. Master will surrender, announcing that Luffy won. Master does say Luffy could use some more technique and how to be a proper swordsman. Luffy will agree to that, as Luffy will pick up his actual blade. You know, he doesn't pick it up. He can change with the wooden sword for those years. Not years, actually. For a few months. Like, like five months. Five months he trains with the wooden sword. So, he finishes that. And, for like five months he finishes. And, now he is actually a pretty decent swordsman. I don't know. There we go. I uh, hope you guys didn't hear that. But, um, Luffy eventually is a decent swordsman shit. Swordsman? Not decent swordsman shit. He's a decent swordsman. And Luffy is also able to actually, like, post time skip Zoro. Like, no, not like current time skip Zoro. But, like, at least Fishman Island Zoro would have, have a good run for his money against this Luffy. Like, Luffy's physical strength is to the roof. And he doesn't know it yet. But he has observation hockey. He's he's not that good with it, but he has it, none, none, he has it nonetheless. So yeah. Now, um, Luffy eventually will end up leaving the island. But as he's about to leave, Luffy puts his straw hat on with the overcoat on, gets his sword, and is walking off. The sea cow was on the island the whole time. When Luffy sees it, it's it's not like oh. Momu, that is the name of it, Momu. So, Momu is about to, like, 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 Luffy will not look at Momu, no saying, it's like, it's like, piercing is gone, piercing is gone, it's a few scars, and his horn is chipped. Luffy's pissed, and he looks at, he looks at Momu, at Momu saying, who did this to you? Luffy, he will ask Momu, and Momu will actually, actually kind of like, like, like make a moaning noise, and, um, what was it? Uh, I had I this written down. I lost the, lost the paper. Momu will kind of like, like reply in his own words. Some pirates tried to raid the island, and Momu beat them. Pirates that tried were the Dawn Creek pirates. Luffy will, Luffy will scream in rage. He, as Momu, Momu was like, Oh, calm down, it's not that serious. But Luffy doesn't care, he's pissed still. But Luffy doesn't know who did it, sadly. But, uh, but Luffy's about to get him, like, in the boat, just still pissed. But he's about to get on. Zoro will run up, will run up to the boat saying, Take me with you! Luffy will ask Zoro, How old are you? Zoro will say, I I'm 13! Luffy then says, hmm, you are strong. Yeah, sure, come aboard. The master is actually really, like, nervous about Zoro, but he does know Luffy is nice. Like, 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 he is aware Luffy is not a bad person. It's just he looks scary. And he's scarily strong. So the master will jump, not the master, Zoro will jump up, and Luffy just picks him up. Like, like, Zoro doesn't jump high enough, but Luffy will grab him and put him, put him aboard. 
And the ship doesn't have, like, a lot of rooms on it. You guys, guys, do you remember? This is Arlong's ship, not Luffy's. So, yeah. No. Luffy will look around and be like, oh, there's a big enough room, room for Zoro. Luffy will kind of, like, like, he decorates this room with a few, a few swords. And, yeah. Now, they said, now Luffy will set sail. Or again, with Zoro and his crew. And Luffy, after, like, for like four weeks, and he's blue, doesn't think there's anywhere, else, there's anywhere else to go. He did stop by Kokashi Village to say hi to Nami, and that's really it. But, uh, yeah. Now, Luffy, Luffy will kind of, like, you know, is there anywhere we could, we could go? Luffy will open a map of the East Blue, and there's, like, oh, uh, there's this place. He points it out on the map, and it's the Bratier. Luffy and Zoro will go, and when they get there, they're ready to fight. Like, the Bratier's is like, oh, this, this, like, they, 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 they recognize the ship a little bit. I want to say that Along tried to, like, raid them a few, a few, a few, a few years ago. They failed due to Zeph being ridiculously strong, no matter what. So, yeah. Zeph, eventually, is like, you know, eh, don't worry, it's actually not our long ship. The paint, the tree painted, the flag's gone. Luffy made his own flag with Usopp. Like, Luffy still stuck that drawing, but Usopp helped him. But Luffy eventually comes, to, like, aboard the Baratier, and everyone's ready for a fight. Like, they, they don't show up, but they're ready for it. But Luffy just sits down, a few berries on the table, uh, and he picks up Zoro, like, keep it Zoro on the table. Uh, Sanji doesn't really approve of it, but he does see that Luffy's actually a caring person. Like, like Luffy's making sure Zoro's okay, and kind of making sure no one gets too close to Zoro. Because he's aware that Zoro's been isolated on the island the whole time, and their island's pretty far in the East Blue. So, being cautious, he's like, I have to make sure, like, if anyone's sick or has something that's supposed to, like, is exposed to Zoro, it might kill him, because I won't, I won't know how to treat Zoro. Because Luffy... He's not too bad in medical expertise. He's treated with he treated Ace and Sabo a lot, and the bandits. So eventually, that and after that, um, Luffy, he will get enough food, food to like fill him up, and he goes in the kitchen. Like he wants to know who cooked the food, because he did find something in it, and he knew instantly what it was. It was spit. And uh, Sanji still doesn't like pirates because of Zeph. Luffy bursts in the kitchen, they're already a fight, but Luffy then says, I hear a fight, I want to talk to someone. He says, he says, who cooked the food? And everyone's like, oh, Sanji did. We helped him, but he, he's like the main chef of it. And he then says, oh. Luffy will walk towards Sanji and pick him up, saying, you spit in my food, didn't you? Sanji says, yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't care, I don't care what you do to me, you're a pirate, you're scum. Luffy, Luffy, Luffy look, will look at Zeph, saying, because that is Zeph in the kitchen. He's like, you were pirate too, old man, weren't you? That's what Zeph says. I'm afraid I'm the reason he hates pirates. He says, oh, I see. Well, um, the boy needs to be taught, needs to be taught a lesson. Luffy will throw Sanji straight into a wall. So it's like, ooh, damn. As he just looks like, looks like Luffy, like, he, like, he, like, not like anything, but he's just like, ooh. The chef's run at Luffy as he easily beats them. Zeph doesn't even want to interfere, knowing he's, he's going to be beaten. Sanji will try to kick Luffy, but Luffy will block it with, like, two fingers. Eventually, Luffy repeatedly throws Sanji around the Baratie. Eventually, Sanji will apologize after around ten times. Luffy picks up Sanji, saying, You want to know, but I'm like, come with me. And Zeph actually says, Sanji, you should go. And Luffy then says, There's going to be a lot more exotic fish if you come with me. Because he knows that probably convinced Sanji. And Sanji's like, I, I don't care. He even says, you can beat Zeph at being a better cook since you've cooked more exotic fish. Sanji will yell, I'll go. Uh, Sanji has been on the, on the Bratier for like two years. Well, no, actually he was nine when he got on there. He's 13 by now, so. Four years. He's been on, on the Bratier, four years. And that's not really enough time to catch all the exotic fish in each blue, I'd say. Sanji agrees to come with Luffy. Zeph will give them a bunch of food and water and say, be on your way. So, yeah. Now, Luffy will continue setting sail with, Bu oh, with, with Buggy, with Sanji and Zoro on his ship. Zoro and Sanji had their rivalry a lot earlier, and they still fight a lot. 
And Luffy will not stop at Logtown. He doesn't need to. There's no reason. And eventually he goes in the Grand Line. Goes over Bridge Mountain. Laboon isn't in the way. They pass by. And Crocus wants to see who is going up the first mountain. Like, who made it up there. Eventually, when Luffy comes down, and he see like, Crocus will see the straw hat. And he knows instantly whose it is. Crocus will wave to Luffy. Yeah, as Luffy even says, Oh, the old man, what are you doing down here? And Luffy, Luffy will laugh, saying, Eh, just being a pirate. Crocus and Luffy will talk for a bit. Luffy's not not moving. Neither's Laboon. Neither's Crocus. Eventually, Crocus says, You do know whose hat you have on, right? Laboon says, Yeah, I'm more surprised you know. Crocus will, like, he, like, he even says, if Roger was his captain. He has to know who knows whose hat that was. Luffy will, Luffy will laugh, and Crocus will laugh as well. And Crocus sees a lot of Roger and Luffy. Like, Luffy is strong, looks dangerous, but he's probably the nicest guy you'll ever meet. So, yeah. Now, once they, like, I guess... Once, like, also, like, Laboon wouldn't go near the ship because of Momu. I forgot to mention that. And when Momu's kind of underwater watching Laboon, he's watching Laboon closely. Crocus will uh, let Luffy and Zoro go. Will Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji go. Eventually, like, like Crocus did, didn't see Momo. He didn't see him one bit. But when they're about to go again, Momo is then revealed. Crocus then says, You have a pet sea king. Luffy then says, Yeah, I do. His name, his name is Momo. And Luffy will go past the red line and keep going and going and going and going. And. Wait, quick pause again. I'm so sorry for the old pausing. This one's actually first stomach cake. All right, um, yeah. So, I'd say that um. So I don't think Crocodile had ruled Alabasta just yet. So yes, I'm back. I don't think I don't think Crocodile ruled Alabasta just yet. Like, I'm say for at least like he had, he ruled he ruled Alabaster for like one or two years at most, one or two. So yeah, so just because of those one or two years. There's, that wouldn't be possible for Luffy just yet. And with, with, with what I might have Luffy do, Crocodile wouldn't have a chance to rule Alabasta. Also, Luffy's bounty. His bounty has shot up to around 50 million. Because he had to be an Arlong. Was, like, some people were... Like, before that Luffy beat the master of Shimizuki Village. Or at least the Sword of Master on there. Then, in, like... Like Morgan was able to give more details as the years went on of, of who attacked him and the like the things he did. Luffy took down enough pirates, and eventually, with the description of, of what Morgan said he did, Luffy eventually learned had earned the title of like a master. And plus, he he kind of took down Arlong's crew and took down a giant sea king, so and tamed it. Plus, went over went over the red line, so they gave him bounty fifty million. Yeah, that's what he has right now, fifty. So yeah, and I don't think Robin would be on 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 Crocodile's crew just yet. Like one year, one year after now would be like her on the crew, on Crocodile's crew. So yeah. Now, um, eventually Luffy ends up like going to Whiskey Peak. He doesn't see anyone there because there's no assassins there. So uh, yeah. Luffy ends up kind of like, she I mean, it's like, a, like a regular village there. Luffy docks the ship a bit away, but like it's not with his arms reach, like well his arm stretching reach. Luffy will wrap his arm, his arm around the island and pull himself towards it. And eventually, like he maybe doesn't let Zoro and Sanji look at the island. Yeah, Sanji took a lot of dinner. That's re that's really it. And Luffy decides he needs to do some actual pirating, not 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 be a good person. So as a result, Luffy kind of suits up, but covers his face and leaves a straw hat like where where the ship would be. Luffy would jump down and beat the crap out of a lot of the town guard, and eventually actually loot the island. Luffy is a bandit, so he's he's able to he was a bandit, and sneaks into like to like the rooms, and just steals a lot of the not rooms houses. He steals a lot of their stuff. We like conduct the ship with one arm, kind of just full of, full of things, even food water 
but you have to start that on now. And let's say I'm trapped, and like Sanji and Zoro can be like, you know, what did you do? It means that's just sail, 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 sail. And he actually even yells, Momu, get going as fast as you can. Momu would sail, would sail through the sea, uh, sail, swim through the sea, and eventually they get to the garden. So, yeah. No. Um, I forgot I check, I check who the hell chopper was. I'm sorry. Alright, so, yeah. No. Um, Luffy, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji, they looted the island. Now they're at Little Garden. And, all Little Garden, they do meet Dory and Bragi. They hunt some, some animals. And, eventually, Luffy will talk to Dory and Bragi. While you talk to them, um, Luffy actually just challenged him to a fight, both of them. Luffy is very strong, durable, stretchy. And Luffy had developed a technique while he was just like like training with Zoro and train, train, helping Usopp train. And Luffy's observation might give him a little bit of an edge. So yeah. Now, eventually, Dorian Bragi would accept after running Luffy at begging like five times. Luffy will jump in the air, try to shoot his arm out, and Luffy will yell, will yell, gum gum rifle. Or, well, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say Luffy doesn't call it jet rifle, more like high power rifle. He calls it that. Who will, will yell, gum gum, high power rifle. His arm will go gear second, and he shoots it forward towards, towards Dory's sword and, and his shield. Eventually, the blade will be punched away, and Luffy's fist still traveling straight, straight towards the shield. It'll crack, well, not crack, it gets a hole punch through it, and Dory will eventually feel the punch hit him in the chest. Dory will cough enough to actually pass out, like, like it hurt him a lot. And Bragi then sees Luffy's actually very strong for being so small. Luffy runs forward again, jumps in the air, as Bragi will try to slash out on Luffy. Luffy will catch the blade using his hands and feet, will catch the axe. Luffy does a certain maneuver that would allow him to actually get the axe in the, like, in the, like, the axe in the air now. Luffy then wraps his arms around the sword, on the, sword, the axe. And then slams it down towards Dory, not Dory, towards Bragi. Bragi will dodge, but Luffy swings the axe to the side, and the flat side will hit Bragi in the head, knocking him out. Dory, Bragi will wake up an hour later, as Dory holds his chest that has a giant bruise on it. Bragi will kind of like pat his head, looking for his, like not looking, but seeing if his helmet is intact, but there's a large crack in it, and it crumbled a bit. Luffy walked off, saying, I enjoyed, I enjoyed our fight. You two are valiant war are valiant warriors. So yeah. Now, Luffy will eventually like get to uh, he gets like gets to the ship again and they set sail. But Sanji is coughing a lot and eventually passes out due to a fever. Luffy will do his own kind of medical, medical medical thing on Sanji. Find out he may have been bitten by a certain animal. Or contracted a virus from the island. So Luffy will sail forward again, and with Momo helping, and they get to Drum Island. Momo declares it too cold, though. But he sails far enough, like he sails, like like within, like he sails within earshot of Luffy. As Luffy's really loud, but Momo will have to be careful around the island. So Momo, Momo, Momo will like drop them off. It swims away very quickly. So yeah. No, I'd say it's been like three months by now. But uh, yeah. Now, Luffy, Luffy will go to Zondrum Island, and the builders didn't see Luffy get dropped off by by his own ship. They, they assume you know he had a small dinghy somewhere. That's like kind of what they assume. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, Luffy. Luffy kind of like shopping on the island, and Luffy did buy enough, like, not enough, he did, he did buy clothing that was good enough for him, and not, not good enough, but good enough for the, for the coldness. He buys some for Zoro and Sanji as well. And he has made it clear to them, they're not actual pirates, they're not to engage in combat unless he says it's okay. Like, if there's a fight, no matter what, they, they actually ask for his okay to fight. Now, uh, yeah. Um... 
Luffy. Luffy, if you like, like finding it, like he'll talk to Dalton for a bit. Dalton's like his best source of information. Like, cause I'm not saying, I'm saying, like, like Dalton's the guard of their village. We talk to Dalton about asking for a doctor. He just, he, has, he points to Sanji that Zoro is carrying, and Dalton will says, you know, there's no doctors. There's like the leader of our village, of our, our village of our country, our king, kept all the doctors to himself in case he gets sick. And Luffy's pissed. He hates royalty. As he knows what they did, what they did in his kingdom, this one's worse. Luffy, Luffy will actually grabs Sanji, and he uh, asks Dalton, "How strong is he?" Dalton looks at looks his devil fruit, and Luffy then says, "All right, why don't you train Zoro a bit? Like you know, get a get a wooden sword, training Zoro's three sword style. He seems to improve it." And um, Dalton will agree to this as Luffy is. Like some faith in Zoro's strength, you know, Dalton will actually take take this seriously. Luffy will go gear second, his legs only. Luffy is kind of nervous to go full body as he doesn't know it does hurt a bit. Eventually, Luffy shoots himself forward, running at top speed, and he does he goes past all the animals in the forest. Eventually, he runs halfway up the mountain. And Doctorine is watching from her own area as she points this out to Chopper, and she does see the patient on Luffy's back. Like Luffy's. He will stop a bit to catch his breath at times. Eventually, he stops halfway up the mountain, and like Chopper will see. Luffy's dedicated to get, to get Sanji to a doctor. So, yeah. Now, um, Chopper then says, you know, if Wapu won't listen, they, like, Luffy may, may, have to, may have to look for us. So, the so doctor actually clears off the table and gets ready for, for Sanji to be brought there. And halfway up the mountain, Luffy, Luffy it didn't, it didn't take him too long to get there. He didn't fight any animals. But Luffy looks around and debates, you know, he may, he may have to beat up innocent people because Wapol's jerk. Luffy looks around closer, and he looks he looks straight at the cabin. It's inside to see Dr. Rain and Chopper sitting up there on the medical table. He does see, Doc, see Dr. Rain look at him, but Dr. Rain doesn't see Luffy looking at her. Luffy's eyes sparkle a bit as he kind of pushes him, like he jumps off the mountain. Like a large push, like he pushed himself to jump, and he flung towards the cabin. Doctor Rain and Usopp see that. Not, not, not Usopp. Doctor Rain and Chopper see this. Luffy lands right outside their door. Luffy opens it, as he actually just says, "I can see you to our doctors. I saw you saw you none. Please treat him." They agree, as Luffy then says. Meanwhile, while you treat him, I'm gonna be the crap out of every king. He walks outside, closing the door, but before it's fully really closed, Chopper holds it open. Dr. Ian says, Chopper, what are you doing? Chopper then says, like he, he says with like hate in his voice. He says, Walpole hurt me in many in too many ways. Help me beat him. He will laugh, saying, Alright, kid, how old are you? Is this may determine if I even let you fight. Chopper will say that, well, first, I'm pretty sure Chopper would be like nine by now. Uh, like nine or like nine or ten, I'll say like ten. So, like, Usopp is like eleven. So Chopper's like nine by now. Yeah, yeah, Chop, Chopper's nine. Yeah, Luffy will fight. Um, not fight. We train, train, train Chopper. That's more like fighting Chopper every day, and does this for like a week straight. Mentally, Dr. Doctrine's like. All right, so Sanji, Sanji has been healed a bit, but but like he's so small that, that the virus took took not the virus the yes kind of like virus t like took took a bigger effect, so he can leave tomorrow. Luffy says okay, and he does declare Chopper has ha is like strong enough to, to do something in his own now. And I would say Chopper at this point with the strength from Luffy, he's able to at least fight fight Wapo by himself. I will not be adding adding Mushiru. So, yeah. Now, Luffy picks up Chopper as he runs towards the mountain, he's in gear second, and runs up it. Due to the distance being a little bit closer, he's able to run up more than half of it, as he's like a, th like, what is it? say three fourths. Luffy and Luffy made it like three fourths up the mountain. That's really it. Comes the rest of the way, when he gets to the top, um, like, there's like guards outside waiting for Luffy, for waiting for Luffy at gunpoint. And. Oh, well, like, the, like well, they're pointing guns at Luffy. Eventually, Luffy then says, Ugh, this is annoying. 
Luffy's leg will be held in gear second as he shoots it forward, kind of like a gum gum whip. Gum gum whip. And all the guards are smacked away, almost off the mountain, but none of them are. Luffy will, will disperse his gear second on his leg and run straight into the building, or the castle, where more Waffles guards are, including Colonel Mar Marimo and Chess. Luffy is going to let Chopper fight. He's going to let Chopper fight. Um, who was it? Wobble. Luffy was going to let Chopper fight Waffle by himself. Luffy will end up fighting Kuro Marimo and Chess and beat them both in one hit. While he watches the fight with Chopper and Wapple, Chopper is actually faster than Wapple, and Wapple can't, can't get, a hit in, get a hit in on him. Luffy's observation will improve a little bit, each like, 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 bit, by, like bit by bit. Chopper helped out a bit. Heh. But Chopper ends up beating Wapple, and Luffy eventually just, just like, he lets Chopper win. Like, Chopper did get bitten once, but that's really it. So, yeah. So once Chopper is done, Luffy picks him up as Chopper is bleeding a bit through that one bite. But Luffy will kick Wapple straight off the island. Like, so hard. And this eventually flings him onto a nearby island. But this island isn't in the Grand Line. If you guys just had, like, like... Luffy had hit Wapple so hard, and they're so high up in the air, Wapple will end up leaving the Grand Line and going to a whole different blue. So that gives you a reference on how strong Luffy was, or is, or yeah, was, you know, he's stronger than that now, but how high the mountains were. So yeah. Now, um, hmm, that's what I can say. So eventually, Luffy will come back down the mountain, and he, he's going slowly. He goes with Chopper, and it does take, take him around a day, by the time he gets down, so I was wondering what took Luffy so long, but he and his found Dr. Rain with Sanji. Sanji's okay by now. And so Zoro's thinks her travel gotten better. Strats, most mainly just three people, eventually leave from Island, and they leave. So yeah, Zoro, Sanji, and Luffy leave um, from Island. But Chopper will eventually tag along with them. We'll try to, but Luffy tells him, you know, in a few years they'll come back for Chopper. That's all I can say by now. I'm going to do this part. Like, subscribe, comment. If you like it, comment if you did. Bye.